Let's talk about the pineapple. Ananas camosus is the botanical name for this perennial tropical plant with an edible fruit. And although it had long been grown in South America, Christopher Columbus was credited with discovering it on the island of Guadalupe in 1493. And this is where he named it Piña de Indies, or Pine of the Indians. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Edible Knowledge, giving you the what's what of food from around the world. Did you know there are more than 37 different types of pineapple, each apparently with their own set of unique characteristics? For example, the abacashi. Grown mostly in Florida, Brazil, and the Bahamas, they're very sweet and quite resistant to disease. The queen. These pineapples are grown mostly in Australia and South Africa. They're dark yellow, have a small core, and are best eaten fresh as they don't can very well. And they're also more tolerant to cold temperatures. And then there's white jade, a highly sought after Hawaiian variety that is ultra sweet, low in acidity, and is best suited for backyard gardens. George Washington tasted pineapple in Barbados and declared it his favorite fruit. Captain James Cook introduced it to Hawaii around 1770. And in 1903, James Drummond Doyle started a plantation on the island of Oahu. By 1921, it was Hawaii's largest crop and industry. So a pineapple is actually a group of berries that have fused together. This is also called a multiple fruit or collective fruit. Other examples include the Osage orange, breadfruit, and the mulberry. In just one cup, 165 grams, you will find 82 calories, zero grams of fat, one gram of protein, two grams of fiber, and 22 grams of carbs. But of course, there's more. Pineapples also contain vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin C, calcium, iron, potassium, and riboflavin. They can help reduce inflammation in muscles and joints. And pineapples also contain an enzyme called bromelain. This is associated with breaking down complex proteins and having anti-inflammatory effects. Pineapples also aid in digestion, constipation, diarrhea, and high blood pressure. They can treat coughs, colds, improve vision, bone and oral health, and improve blood circulation. So is there such thing as too much of a good thing? Yeah. Vomiting, diarrhea, headaches, nausea, and it's also believed that there's the possibility of it stimulating menstruation. But in order for any of this to happen, you'd have to be eating a cup and a half of pineapple every day. Well, that's it. Let me know what you'd like me to research next. And it's summer. Go have a little bit of pineapple. Enjoy yourself. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.